hi there welcome back to this channel this lesson is about uh, ducting mode for those that were asking so um, with that being said uh, let's begin so as you can see in the top um, you see the ducting mode okay so you can toggle from dark and light okay so you can see the drop drop down okay you see the men the menu and uh the single uh, page um uh, yeah this is the the home page okay and if we go to the dashboard and this is the dark mode so you can uh i mean uh hide close sidebar okay so also um i think i'm gonna bring um it also on the top um in the dashboard so now this is the documentation the dark mode okay so uh, you see it has two palettes okay and uh using create theme okay and uh you can look um typography you can see the the dark mode okay and uh now this is uh to add uh custom i mean palette okay so this this example um is um using typescript but we can convert it okay and uh mode set mode uh, is using um um use state hook but this example um is using a local state but we are going to use it with um with docs okay so and after that uh, they're using uh, a hook from react use memo okay to um i mean uh, store the value okay and uh here the, the in this example they are using um context context api and team provider from um uh, material ui so as you can see you can toggle and uh, um, that's it. So we are going to follow this example. Also, I want to uh, make clear that dark mode doesn't necessarily mean it should be black. Okay. So, but the default is black, but it's not necessarily means uh, black. Okay. So uh, now we are going to create a, a team mode reducer where we um, export. Um, uh, cons mode reducer okay so it accept uh, two parameters um, the state and uh, um, action so in the state we're gonna add uh, a default value so um, we are going to create a toggle active I mean, toggle state, okay, and uh, uh, it will be true by default, okay. And now open a switch case uh, block. Oops, okay, in between action, that type. Okay, and we will name a constant, not created yet, but we'll create it soon, um, team mode. So we we'll move breaks, we're gonna return, I mean, uh, we're gonna return some value, open and close curly braces. So we spread, we use spread operator, I mean to copy the previous step, okay, because we need to track when the toggle is uh when toggle active is true and it false okay so after that we bring everything and we target um the toggle active okay we're gonna say um i mean negative i mean so that you can toggle um state that toggle active i mean each time you click it if it was true it will be false and vice versa Okay, and now um, mode. So we're gonna target, um, 
I mean the toggle um, active state okay and our condition so if uh, it is true okay so um, we will say um, we will send the light and the mode will be light and else it will be dark okay but uh, here we return uh, the the default we return the state i mean the initial value okay and now we are drop in the constants folder so we need to create a constant for the mode reducer um, we name it team custom and export cons okay team mode and now let's import this constant okay auto import it and save so after create creating the reducer we need to bring it um, in the store so that we can use it so in the store we're gonna create the uh, we're gonna name it mode okay and mode will receive uh, i mean nothing mode will receive the reducer which is a um, mode reducer and also need to import auto import okay so we save okay after this step we need to create the action the action um, this is the function that um, will trigger uh, to I mean to switch between light and dark okay so we have plenty of example of um, I mean redux action okay and we name it um, toggle action theme okay and here you see um, dispatch and open and close curly braces. Now we're gonna dispatch um, in uh, this action. The type, so we have only one type. Uh, the team mode. And we bring um, in the action, the constant okay so um to show you that there is no secret i'm gonna copy um from the material ui uh, this exact example okay this is um, with custom palettes i'm gonna copy this, this example And now we need to go um, the team. So what we are going to do this now we will um, comment. But we are we for the primary um, for the light we're gonna use the same colors. Okay. So but um, we're gonna do it another way. So um, palette mode. This example is um, for type TypeScript and we remove uh, palette mode okay so you can see for the light mode you see the colors dark mode you see the colors okay so we're gonna name ours um, um, team colors okay this is the example but um I had a custom I already had custom um, colors for you I'm gonna replace this palette but this is the same example the same exact example okay um, I'm gonna copy 
and uh, only we pre replace the palette with the same um, and we stay in the same example as you can see only colors um, um, are changed okay so nothing too fancy um, light um, we have the same colors okay for the light light mode okay and uh, yeah so mode um, you see mode mode okay and we spread operator use, using spread operator and for the dark as you can see um, primary we change the color secondary we change the color and we add um, um, colors for text and we need to bring the gray color from the material colors so here we see um, not found okay so um, we need to import it in uh, the main app okay so as you can see create theme from material and style we already use it uh, use it theme colors now um, because we export i mean we'll export it um, theme colors from theme use selector and use memo okay and here what are what we are going to do um oops um uh, cons so we're gonna extract the mode okay using your selector extract the mode and uh, uh the state and uh we're gonna choose the state um name mode okay And after that, uh, we create a, a team a variable. Okay, using use memo. Okay. So if this is the first time seeing that, you can um, search um, on React documentation. Okay. So use memo uh, will receive. Um, we're gonna use uh, create team. Okay, create team, and the create team will accept. I mean, uh, uh, team colors. Okay, which is our custom palette. Okay, and uh, team colors receive a parameter which is mode that we are receiving from the state. I mean, when the mode is changing, also the colors will change. Okay, and uh, dependency, the dependency array which is mode okay and now we don't need to import team we don't have it anymore okay and here in the team provider team we see team same thing okay seems like here we have a problem so I know what um, it might be so we need to export I mean, uh, team colors in order to use it. Okay, no errors. Now we are going in the store because we need to create uh, an initial state. Okay, so the initial state we will say mode, uh, the default will be light. Okay, and we save. Okay, after that, we need to, I mean, bring, uh, we add a comment, toggle.team, and we bring the icon, icon button, we bring the icon to switch between dark and light mode, so we already have palette from um, use team, okay, uh, if the uh, palette dark mode is equal to dark, so we would have the dark uh, button else the light okay and we add the on click event on the button okay uh, and we import the toggle action team okay so um, 
this icon we need to bring them from um, material material icon Okay, so um, we'll bring them. So uh, it should be okay. So adding uh, colors, I mean color, light and dark. Okay, I think it should be eight. Okay, so here we can see we already have um, palette okay and now we have the icon if you click um, to switch as you can see we have uh, the dark because uh, uh, the default is dark okay you, you, you got the idea the default is dark and if you look in the state you see it already in the dark mode and here is in the light mode okay but uh, if we don't pass, I mean, a, a style in it to get our custom colors, the default will be black. Okay, because the default, um, as I uh, said in the beginning, um, the default is black. Okay, but dark theme does not necessarily mean it should be black. Okay, we add um, a palette, uh, we add a color from our palette, so that when we change the mode, the color change also. Okay. And as you can see, you see um, it changed colors, but we will do this, uh, do this for, I mean, all this component, okay? So that it can change um, automatically. Okay, now we are making the change. And um, okay, as you can see here, you see everything is turned some dark blue, okay? You can say this can be your dark theme, okay? So, and the side is uh, the single is like this, okay? And the, 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 the light, okay? So, um, guys and girls, um, that was it for this lesson. So, if you have a question, please um, drop them in the comment section. If you like this video please leave a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share it with your friends so that more people can watch our video with that being said thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye